what's good youtube your boy bosco back again with another sneaker video hopefully you're having a great day and a blessed day and a safe day wherever you are in the world man things are crazy out here i know it's kind of hard to talk about sneakers but we're gonna do that let's get our brains off of what's going on and hopefully everybody can get past this come together and have a great day you feel me we about to talk about some upcoming releases of course if you like what you see smash the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe with the notification bells on you dig first up we have a nike air max 90 cuban link now this is a women exclusive it features a cuban link chain that comes with it as an accessory pretty dope and unique velvet brown pink light as well as british tan is the color scheme it also features mesh leather and some suede on the shoe as you know which i think is pretty dope and unique releasing july 11th or actually excuse me june 11th for about 120. let me know what you guys think about this overall in the comment section and what do you guys rate it from a 1 to 10 score Next up, we have a pair of Air Jordan 34 PEs. This first one is the real. I'm not sure how to say his last name, but also Jason Tatum will be wearing these. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway, bro. The floral patterns all over the shoe is pretty unique, even though it has a white base. I think this is pretty fire. A solid eight out the gate. I would love to see what it looks like in person. What do you guys rate these? And what would you guys try to cop if you guys had an opportunity to? Between this one right here, which I think is pretty fire, bro, and it stands alone. But then we also have another PE of the 34 that Jason Tatum is set to be wearing called Welcome to the Zoo. This PE is pretty fire also. I believe this one is not sure on the actual release date, the previous one. It's going to be releasing June 11th. Let me know what you guys think about either one of these. Which one do you guys like more? And also the ratings from 1 to 10. I think both of these are easily a solid 8. Maybe even more impressive when you see them in person. Especially the Welcome to the Zoo. I love the zebra print that's hidden under the first layer. Then you have the cheetah print and tiger print. I think it's pretty unique, bro. I would love to see these things in person. Once we get a chance to, I definitely will. Maybe just get them just to review them. I don't think I want to keep them for myself. But 34s have been getting a pretty good rep with only one little slight situation at the bottom of the shoe. Sometimes it cracks, but it doesn't happen for everybody. Let me know what your result is with the 34. Sticking with Jordan, we have an Air Jordan 3 Women's Laser Orange. Pretty dope, man. Women's exclusive. You know, a lot of guys will be trying to get their feet into these also. White, laser orange, cement gray, and black is the color scheme. Dropping sometime in July of 2020 for 190 bucks. I think these are pretty dope, man. From a 1 to 10, I would give these a solid 8, even though they're majority white. I think they're fire, and they might even look better in person. The leather, I feel like the quality is going to be pretty good. 1 to 10, like I said, a solid 8. What do you guys rate these? And for the ladies, will you guys be trying to cop them? Next up, we have the third colorway of the Nike Air Max 90 Home and Away. I think I like this one by far the best because it has that navy blue and red combination that I'm such a fan of. The Air Max 90 Home and Away is set to release June 6th for $130. Sale University Red Gum and Medium Brown is the color scheme. Of course, this has a mixture of leathers and suede. Let me know what you guys think about these overall, this colorway. From a 1 to 10 score, I easily get this a solid 8.5, maybe 9. I want to see these things in person. What do you guys think about them? And finally, we finally have a release date for the Nike LeBron 17 Graffiti. It will be dropping June 25th for $225 via Sneakers app. Let me know what you guys think about these. I know a lot of people are looking forward to these. Let me know in the comment section or in the premiere right now in the chat if you guys will be trying to cop these or not. What do you guys rate these from a 1 to 10 score? The LeBron 17 Graffiti has definitely grown on me since I first saw them. It's definitely an 8, maybe even better in person. I know some people out there might feel like these are a 10, and some people might think they're trash. But let me know what you guys think, of course, in the comment section below. Next, we get some official images, finally, of the Nike Air Max 90 Orange Camo and a release date, which is June 19th for 140 bucks. These are Fuego 10 out of 10. I would definitely try to get my hands on them. I'm curious to see if at some point these will creep into the outlets. Of course, if they do, they won't be in my size, but these are pretty dope and unique. Like I said, a 10 out of 10. Out of all the camo series that have dropped for the Air Max 90, which is your favorite? And what are these rate for you from a one to 10? I think they're pretty dope. They will stand out. Perfect for the summertime as we are now approaching that. I want to see what they actually look like in person and how vibrant is that orange and how does the camo go with. But the pictures are fire. It shows that it comes with multiple laces too so you can always do the lace swap which is something I'm really a fan of. 
and overall i'm looking forward to these shoes i'm kind of excited about them 140 is not a bad price point give me your feedback and thoughts in the comment section and then of course in the premiere chat here are some better images of the Air Jordan 5 Oregon Duck, which we talked about previous in one of our sneaker news videos. The Air Jordan 5 SE Oregon Duck is set to release September 12th for $225. I'm digging these a lot, and these are pretty different from what we might have assumed they to be. I thought the back would have had a Jordan logo that was yellow, but it's not. As you can see, it's the tag in the back. Let me know if that's the make it or break it for you with this shoe. It's pretty much just a color scheme. Of course, no Oregon Duck features of the shoe, but Besides the colorway, cop pass, fire, or trash from a 1 to 10. These are a solid 8, maybe even a 9. I really, really like that upper, but I just want to see if I'm going to fill it with that tag in the back, you dig? Next up, dressed in white, neutral gray, black, and Bordox, the Air Jordan 4 PSG will be dropping September of 2020. Let me know if you guys are feeling this, 225 is the retail price point. I know a lot of people out there love Jordan 4s and I'm not mad at you, they have some dope colorways. And the quality is usually really nice. I love the color scheme and how they put this together. Let me know what you guys think about these overall from one to 10, I give them a solid eight, maybe even an eight and a half, close to a nine. I would love to see them in person. Give me your feedback in the this is something you guys will be trying to cop once they actually hit the shelves. Looks like sometime this summer we're getting yet another colorway of the Air Penny 5, the Orlando Magic colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this overall from 1 to 10. Perfect colorway for summer, not necessarily for me because it's majority white, but I think it might look fire. The outsole looks crazy. The all white with the Orlando Magic color scheme is pretty dope. Summer 2020 for 150, you cannot go wrong. 1 to 10 scale, give these a solid 8. What do you guys think? Next up, we have two new colorways of the Sakai Nike Vapor Waffle. Black and white colorway, which is pretty dope and unique, can match with anything. But the one that kind of stands out to me is the Game Royal Sport Fuchsia. I think that's pretty unique also. Set to release summer 2020, no official actual date just yet. And they're releasing for $180. The retail or the resale on these are usually pretty good. From a one of 10 score, I would probably give these guys equally a solid eight and a half. Let me know what you guys think about them also. And if you guys own any waffles or ever flipped them. If you wore them, let me know how comfortable they really are i've heard a lot of good things about them but never really tried them myself you dig next up we have the nike lebron 3 fairfax now a few months ago we had the lebron 7 fairfax which was pretty fire and it was a pe that became more of a gr later on which some people were able to get their hands on let me know what you guys think about this you know uh lebron james is sponsoring a few high schools out here in los angeles for 2020 and fairfax is definitely one of them one of the better basketball programs out here if this shoe right here had the black where the white is and was similar to the lebron 7 but on a LeBron 3, it would be a 10 out of 10 for me. But this colorway, kind of an easy pass, maybe like a 7, 7.5. It might look better in person, man. My personal opinion is what that is. Maybe putting some white laces might make the shoe pop a little more or maybe even yellow laces. But give me your overall thoughts and opinions on these if these will be a cop for you. What do you guys rate these from a 1 to 10 score? Uh, I believe they're set to release December 2020 or early 2021 for $175. Uh, the white... Amarillo and University Red is a color scheme. $175, not too bad, but I definitely think you might find these at the outlets. Let me know your overall thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, you dig? Continuing with the dynamic duo of LeBron and Kyrie, we have a Kyrie 6. This is the Neon Graffiti, set to release June 12th for 130 bucks. This one has a white mesh, of course, as you can see, with a tumble leather base with a mix of blue, yellow, and pink accents, which is pretty dope. A thick embroidered swoosh with enlarged Nike text above it, which is pretty dope also. From a one to 10, I give these a solid eight. The majority white is just something not for me, but I think they might look even better in person. You know, it might even be a 10, bro, but I don't know. I would have to see it in person because I'm really digging the shoe. I love the color scheme. I love the pinwheel on the midsole or the medial side of the shoe. I do like the color scheme. I love the translucent blue swoosh or strap rather. And then you have the unique swoosh, which is kind of a double swoosh. This shoe actually is very, very fire, bro. But the majority white is... It's something I might even change my mind on the more that I look at this shoe. But the medial side is something that definitely sells me. And this is also a dope shoe to maybe customize to, to you know, being the fact that it is a majority white. 
let me know what you guys think about these overall in the comment section below if you guys would try to cop these overall what do you guys rate them from one to ten and just give me your feedback and then on the grade school side of things we have the nike Kyrie six pool which is also set to release in june for 110 bucks now this is a pretty unique loud colorway a lot of people are calling this the poor man's miami from the preheat collection let me know if you guys agree with that and what do you guys rate these overall from one to ten they are gs so a those sizes will not be available but this is very unique it stands out and i can't wait to actually see it in person it looks like the back panel has patent leather but i'm not sure if they would do that on a grade school shoe but it's very possible once we get a chance to see these things in person we will talk about them but what do you guys rate these overall from one to ten score and the fact that it might have patent leather on the back i think it's pretty dope man i would love to see these in person we're gonna talk about it let me know your thoughts in the comment section Next up, we got a couple classics coming from Reebok in the USA theme colorway, which first is a Kamikaze 2 by Reebok and Sean Kemp pretty fire shoe bro june 27th is the actual release date would have been very perfect for the olympic games to be going on and it needs to be dropping 200 dollars is the retail price point hopefully at some point that drops down a little bit lower but the color scheme is fire that one is pretty dope and then we also have another classic which is the shack gnosis dropping the same date for the same price actually this one is 190 bucks the shack gnosis is pretty dope and unique i'm not sure if i'm really feeling it in this usa colorway but that's just my own opinion bro out of the two classics from reebok which one do you guys like more and what would you guys rate this kamikaze or the shack gnosis from one to ten let me know your thoughts in the comment section below previously in one of my sneaker news videos we talked about the nike space hippie collection but what we did not know about or at least i did not know is there now is an air jordan one zoom high that is releasing it's called the space hippie dropping august 12th 2020 for 175 bucks these are pretty unique i think uh the most part that i like about them is the upper with the tongue and the uh sock liner it has the off-white vibe of like the blazers one to ten score maybe like an eight might grow on me when the more that i see them let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below pretty unique though Next up from Adidas, we have an Ultra Boost DNA Prime 2020 pack releasing soon. These are two colorways. Not sure if there will be more coming with it, but these were set to release around the Olympic Games. I'm loving the upper on both of them. If I had to pick, I probably would go with the red one over the black and white one. They're both pretty dope, like I said, releasing for 120 bucks. No official release date, but it is in the next coming weeks. Like I said, it was supposed to release around the Olympics, but you know that's postponed, so there's no official release state but when i find out i will let you know but out of the two colorways which one do you guys like more like i said i think i'm leaning more towards the red ones but they're both an eight out of ten in my opinion but give me your thoughts sticking with adidas and the usa theme we have an adidas ultra boost 2020 the usa colorway obviously set to release june 12th for 20 you know 180 bucks in 2020 of this summer let me know what you guys think about these overall from a 1 to 10 score i give these a solid 8 even though it's majority white i love the color combination if you even add some blue laces or even like some maroon laces to make the shoe pop a little more that would just add a little bit more style to it let me know what you guys think about these from overall overall scale 1 to 10 and if you own a pair shout them out in the comment section below back on the nike side we have a shoe that i saw at the uh, nike store at the grove and i thought it was very unique in the colorway that i did see now this one here is by far the best colorway i've seen so far of the nike react vision in the photo blue colorway let me know what you guys think about that 140 is the retail price point photo blue black and midnight navy is the color scheme i would easily give these a solid eight and a half maybe even a nine that's just my personal opinion let me know your thoughts down below Okay, now these shoes right here to me are pretty dope, both colorways. Kevin Bradley, Nike SB Blazer, the Kevin and Hell pack is ridiculous. May 30th is the retail date on it. Let me know if you guys actually caught these. I didn't know anything about this. I saw this on uh, Sneaker Bar Detroit and wanted to talk about them. There's two different ones. There's a low, which you're seeing here, which is pretty dope. Uh, Battle Blue, White University Blue is the color scheme. May 30th for 180. Now these are fire, bro. If I had a chance to get them, I promise you, I would have definitely caught those. 10 out of 10 in my book, the lows are. And even the mids, the mids are fire too. I'm not even gonna lie. The red is kicking. It's like a velvet on there. 
10 out of 10 on this one also very unique stands out both shoes are nice bro this is 85 dollars for the blazer let me know if you guys are feeling either one of these shoes give me all the feedback because i just want to know i'm really feeling both of these the color combinations the color schemes the low and the mid is just fuego 10 out of 10 on both of them never even knew kevin bradley could do something like this not familiar with him anyway but these are ridiculous bro 10 out of 10 let me know if i'm tripping if you guys feel the same way or if the trash all feedback welcome in the chat and in the comment section you dig now here's another shoe that i want to talk about that i cannot get because it is a grade school size however the nike air max 97 is fire in many different colorways and this is no exception only $150, $155 is the retail price point. No, it's set date. It should be at Nike.com in a few days or in the next coming weeks. This color scheme is nice. This photo blue, black, and white is pretty dope. I don't know why they didn't give the adults this colorway also, but let me know what you guys think about it from a one to 10, bro. This is a solid eight and a half or nine. I'm not mad at this shoe. Three and one that upper would be even more fire. Let me know what you guys think. I'm excited about these. I wish they came out in an adult size. Hopefully at some point they do, but maybe not. But these are pretty fire and I want to talk about them. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Another sleeper, but a shoe I'm excited about is the Nike Presto React 130. This is a USA colorway. No set release date, they just will pop up at finish line and nike.com in the next coming weeks, that's what they say here. These are pretty dope though, 130, you cannot go wrong with Presto Reacts, I own a pair, very, very comfortable, wear them kind of daily. This Obsidian University red and white color scheme is fire, you know navy blue and red, once again, is one of my favorite color schemes. Red laces, I think there's a little 3M hints on the shoe too, you cannot go wrong with this shoe, even with the white midsoles, fire bruh, gives you some lacing options, the laces might be a little bit longer so you can strap them around the back as you guys can see in the picture there this one in the chili red they've been doing their thing with the presto reaction lately with the colorways and this is no exception if i had to rate it from a one to ten which i'm definitely going to easy nine easy nine bro oh my goodness i'm really liking these presto reacts and i can't wait to see them in person and at some point your boy might have to add these to the collection that's how juiced i am about these bro let me know what you guys think of course in the comment section below and shout out to everybody here in the premiere once again you dig and finally, from the Jordan brand, the Air Jordan 14 Gym Red, set to release June 27th for 190 bucks. I'm bringing these up because we talked about them before, of course, but I've seen a couple videos on YouTube and other places for these. People have gotten these pairs early already. They look pretty dope, man. They look a lot better than some of these images might have, you know, displayed. We have better images here, as you guys are seeing, than what has been presented to, you know, us before. But these are definitely dope. Maybe a 9 out of 10. Uh, kind of a must cop for a lot of people, I'm sure. 190 is the retail price point. Let me know if you guys are going after these. Let me know your feedback on these 14s if you guys are a fan of, of them overall. And uh, from a 1 to 10, what do you guys rate them, you dig? And if you enjoyed that video and it's your first time here or you haven't done so, subscribe with notifications on to be updated every time i drop a video if you happen to enjoy this video you gotta smash that like button if you saw a shoe you like you gotta smash that like button give me all the feedback in the comment section below what was your favorite shoe in this video least favorite shoe what's your most looking forward to or what are you easily passing on give me all that of course in the comment section below i enjoy you guys here with your time and energy shout out to everybody here who came out to the premiere as we're watching it together if you haven't done so already check out the merch it's here we got two links in the description box and also you can just scroll down and see you'll see a little list of shirts and merchandise from your boy Bosco and the channel man join the team join the Mitchell gang don't be a lame without further ado I'm about to get out of here have a great day wherever you are in the world in the universe stay positive stay safe stay strong and I'll see you later have a great day